Today we have an unboxing and a first impression of the new fragrance from Victor and Roth. This is Flower Bomb Ruby Orchid. This is an Eau de Parfum. I have it in the 1.7 fluid ounce. Uh, I got this from Sephora. Now this was, um, I want to say sold out online with Sephora, but I did uh, get sign up for the notification email when it came back in stock. I was notified, I ordered it and bought it today. And I've seen some reviews on this fragrance already and I just, it was something that I felt like I, I had to try seeing as though I'm very much in love with the original Flower Bomb. I will always be, I think it is very pretty, very feminine. I also have Flower Bomb Nectar and I have Flower Bomb Midnight and I have Flower Bomb, I'm sorry, I have Spice Bomb for men okay so as you can see i'm a lover of victor and roth fragrances okay so without further ado i've already removed the plastic from the package and i've already sprayed it because this is my second time recording this video okay but without further ado let's go ahead and get into the fragrance now this is a flanker okay of the original flower bomb fragrance and as you can see if you are familiar with the original fragrance this is the exact same bottle shape and everything is just a different color and uh this is like a pretty ruby kind of like a light red color if you will and then this is the original so they are pretty much identical in the fact that the bottles both look the same okay and i love this one i love it it's one of those fragrances i think people say is very played out you know everybody and their mama used to have it back in the day but it's just a classic fragrance for me this one and i feel like it will really never get old and so i just want to always have it in my collection i think it's beautiful but we're talking about flower bomb ruby orchids okay let me go ahead and spray some on here. I've already sprayed it, as you can see. Before I sprayed it, it had a really nice dry down. I don't know if you guys noticed that, but let's smell this. Okay. Now, I do, I do want to do, I'll do a comparison of these two. I feel like I do get the original flower bomb dna like i i smell it it's very reminiscent with you know it's very sweet you guys know if you're familiar with the original flower bomb this one you know that this is a very sweet fragrance i think it has hints of patchouli in it and some other notes but with this one let me get my ipod open it up here and show you guys in this one you are getting notes of peach vine orchid and vanilla bean okay so it is still giving you that sweet pretty vanilla smell that is very reminiscent for me in the original uh, fragrance but what's throwing me off has to be either the peach or the orchid and i'm leaning more towards the orchid okay like i said i've i've seen a lot of reviews on this fragrance and everybody says that it's nice it's pretty sweet and i would agree it is pretty it's nice it's sweet but there's something in this fragrance that's really a little bit off-putting to me and i cannot determine if it is the peach or if it is the orchid i'm i'm leaning more towards the orchid because it's very it's very florally peach to me i have a few fragrances in my collection that carry a note of peach and peach doesn't it doesn't come off like this so i'm i'm more inclined to say it is the orchid in this fragrance that 
um, it's throwing me off, okay? It's throwing me off a little bit. I'm not gonna lie. Now, again, it is pretty. It is a pretty, soft, powdery, sweet, feminine fragrance, okay? Very girly, very feminine. But I think that Orchid is going to have to um, really, um, I'm gonna have to get used to that Orchid note. It's really gonna have to, it's gonna have to wear on me, like, you know. But I love the dry down that it's giving me. I love the sheen on my hand. Um, you guys know I love when fragrances leave that nice, pretty sheen. This is always an indication to me that this is gonna be a very long lasting fragrance. When I see that the fragrance has dried down and it leaves that, um, that beautiful sheen on my skin. I love that. So I don't doubt that this fragrance is not going to last. I feel like there's not, I won't have any issue with the longevity. You guys, I'm pretty sure I won't have any issue with the projection either because we all know that Flower Bomb is exactly what it is, a bomb. We all know it is beast mode um, and it projects honey and it lasts all day. So I'm, I feel like I'm not gonna worry about that. But again, I'm gonna have to get used to that that's that orchid smell okay i'm gonna have to get used to that orchid smell now if you are um there's no easy way for me to say this now if you a black woman you will relate to what i'm about to say this fragrance reminds me of hair grease okay i'm just gonna put it out there it reminds me of hair grease something that my mama used to put in my hair when i was a little girl when she was combing my hair that is exactly what this fragrance reminds me of it's giving me hair grease vibes okay which is not a bad thing in my opinion because hell i grew up on it you know and hair grease smells good. It makes your hair smell good, you know? So I don't want anyone out there to take that as a dig. That is not a dig. That is just me telling you what the fragrance reminds me of. It reminds me of hair grease, okay? But on a scale of one to 10, honestly, it may be a little bit too soon for me to really rate this fragrance at the current moment. Um, and I can't classify this fragrance. I can't put it in a box. I can't say, oh, it's gonna be good for summer. De okay, I can I can say this. It's definitely gonna be good for a springtime um, summer scent. There's no patchouli in this, okay? There's just vanilla in the dry down. So I think this is one of those fragrances that's gonna play well in the summertime. I don't know how well it's gonna do in the winter. But it's it's beast mode, like I it's it's strong, strong. Okay, so we'll have to see. But as of right now, um, slightly, slightly, just a just a hint of disappointment. Okay, just a hint. I'm not writing it off, but I'm just gonna be honest with you. I would say out of all of the flankers, um, and of course I only have two of the flankers. This would probably be my least favorite um, out of the flank, out of the collection, okay? Um, Nectar being my first choice, and then Flower Bomb Midnight being my second choice. Um, I don't have any of the other flankers. If there are any other flankers, I don't have them. But the ones I do have, I do enjoy. But you know me if you've been following me for a minute you know how i am i could say this one day and then in the next few months this could possibly be my favorite perfume ever you know what i'm saying but as of right now it's not my favorite flanker and um on a scale of one to ten i probably would have to give it a seven okay i'd probably have to give it a seven i'm i'm waiting for the dry down but let me just spray this is the original let me just spray a little bit on this hand and see the difference yeah okay so for those of you who probably thought that the original was too too much 
too strong, maybe too much patchouli um, or something like that, you probably will enjoy the uh, ruby orchid because the ruby orchid is giving me softer, it's giving me, it's, I feel like it's sweeter as well. This fragrance is very, very sweet. And it's just giving me softer, powdery um, sweetness, okay? So that's what it's gonna say. If you're not a lover of this one, I would say smell this one. You might really enjoy this one, but out of these two, I would have to say the original is still more of my favorite flower bomb. But honestly, I would choose the nectar. I would choose the nectar over the original, honestly. I would choose this one. This one is, yeah, this one is it for me. This is my favorite one out of all the three is the Flower Bomb Nectar by Victor and Roth. Okay, you guys, that was my unboxing. Comment down below, but like I'm on YouTube. <laughs> Leave a comment. Let me know what y'all think. If you have it, what are your thoughts? What are your impressions? I would love to know your feedback on this new fragrance. I hope you guys are having a good evening. And I will see you in the next unboxing. Bye-bye.